All right, so welcome back. Today in this video, we're gonna be continuing our civil FE exam review, focusing in, in structural engineering. And today we're gonna to be looking specifically at structural determinacy and stability analysis of beams, trusses, and frames. So I have some practice problems for you all that are pretty conceptual. And so you're gonna, need to be able to understand concepts because they will ask you this on your FE exam. And so I, I want to go through some of them now. All right, so let's take a look at these. Number one says, in the analysis of a simply supported frame, what factor or what factors influence the determinacy of the structure? All right, so Let's go through the information that we're given, right? We know that this is a simply supported frame, right? And we're trying to find factors that influence Determinacy. Okay. I think I spelled determinacy wrong. This A C Y. See, this is why I like math and and not big on writing and all that stuff. All right, so factors that influence determinacy. All right, so what formulas might we need for this? I don't know, but I'm going to search determinacy. Okay. So determinacy, three things come up when I search in the handbook. Okay, so determinacy in a frame. Right. What influences the determinacy or, you know, whether it's unstable, stable, and statically indeterminate or stable and statically uh, determined. Okay, so looks like um, this, by this formula, we have three M plus R. So M is what members uh, R is the independent reaction components. J is the number of joints on the frame. And then C would be things dealing with hinges, right? Okay, so we got a simply supported frame. What does that even look like, right? Well, anytime you have simple support, it always just means no, I don't even like that. I'm just gonna say it looks like this. All right, this is our frame. This is my pin. So simply support, it just means it has a pin and a roller at supporting it. So whether it's a, a beam, frame, truss, whatever, simply support, it just means it has a one pin on one side, roller on the other. Okay, so what factors influence? So let's look at A, the material properties of the, of the frame. No. <clears throat> We're looking at, you know, you got your members, you got your reactions, and you have joints or hinges. So um, the magnitude of pressure, there's no pressure involved here. The arrangement of supports, Yes, the arrangement of supports determine how many reactions that you have, right? So independent, that's what your reactions are, uh, is based on your supports, right? If you have a pin that a pin has uh, two reactions and a roller has one, right? So this is, let me explain that a little bit better and put it in a different color. 
So anytime you have a pin, you know, that you have it going in the, you have a reaction um, going in, we'll just call this A, this B. So you have AX, all right? And then you have uh, another vertical reaction that would be a Y, all right? And then at a roller, there's only one reaction and that's at BY, all right? Um, there are different types of uh, supports, all right? You have a pen, you have a roller, you have fixed supports. And with fixed supports, you know, you have um, three reactions. So like with the pen, you have one, two reactions. With the roller, you have one reaction. With the fixed support, you have three reactions. I um, think I might've went over this in another video, but let's just say, for example, um, you have a pin or you have a fixed support here and then you had a roller. All right. Well, at this fixed support, you have a, let's call this point A. So you have an AY, you have a AX, but for fixed, remember, you always have a, uh, a moment at A. All right, or a reaction moment at A. All right, so that's why it has, that's why there's three reactions. All right, moving on to so our answer is C. Hey everybody, I know I didn't take time to formally introduce myself at the beginning, so I did want to let you know who I am and how I can best serve you as you're studying for your civil FE exam. So my name is James Huntley and I am a civil engineer who has helped hundreds of individuals pass and dominate their civil FE exam. Now, I know this test is tough and as you're going through material, you may be saying, uh, I don't remember learning this stuff or gosh, these variables are so confusing or you just feel like you're really, really busy and there's so much material that you need to go through that it's a bit overwhelming. So I did want to let you know that I do help and work with individuals one on one to ensure that they pass their civil FE exam. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for 10 weeks, and that's the longest that it has been. And I've had individuals that have worked with me for two weeks, and we went back to back, day after day after day, hours on hours on hours, putting in the work, um, working together to ensure that they went ahead and passed, right? And this exam is so important because I know that you wanna make more money. Um, I know that you want to you know, get some promotions and be able to further your career and have your PE. So definitely want to open and extend a hand out. Want to be able to save you time, right? Because I know some people that watch my videos, you may have been watching my videos for six, nine, even 12 months and you still haven't passed your civil FE exam, and that is the one thing that's keeping you from making more income, more impact, and furthering your career. So it's definitely costing you um, money, resources, everything. So looking to create more success stories, um, I am looking to work with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. I wanna hop on Zoom with you. I want you to share what you're doing, as you're solving these problems so I can spot out what you may be struggling with and open your eyes so that you're not going into this test completely blind. Now, for some of you, you may have failed a test once, twice, had some people fail five times, um, or you may be wanting to take this test initially and you just wanna make sure that you pass it up front. So 
do have one-on-one -on -one services. I also have some uh, do-it-yourself uh, courses that if you're like, no, I got this, I got it all on my own, I know everything, or I, I'm going to take the time to study everything, I do have some resources and materials to be able to help you in that way. But my biggest fear is that you're investing in something, uh, these programs or these courses, and you know, you're not... Uh, getting back or having proper feedback to help you and to push you forward. You're just giving a bunch of information and no one's sharing with you what you may be actually struggling with or what's keeping you from passing your FE exam. So looking to create a ton of success stories. So feel free um, down in the description box below. I have a ton of resources, including one-on-one -on -one coaching. Let's hop on a call. Uh, it's no cost to you as far as, you know, us talking through your goals and what you're trying to do um, and kind of getting a feel for where you're at. Um, so have some programs where I can work with you one on one. And there's also some do it yourself courses, practice exams, study guides, resources, free material, all of that down in the description box below. So feel free to check out that stuff. If you like the video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. This is what I do. Um, we wanna get you to the next phase of your civil engineering career. Um, and leave a comment if you had any questions about um, what I went through, the information that I covered. Um, and feel free to um, definitely schedule a call with me and I'm looking forward to creating more success stories. So. Be sure to check out this next video.